Hi everyone, it's Mike here. I've got a couple of little happy mail shares for you today. The first one from a lady called Chris Rice and we will jump straight onto the overhead camera and I'll show you what Chris has sent me. So this is the little package that Chris has sent me and Chris popped a little private note inside just to say that she'd been looking around in her craft room and there is a theme to all the stuff that she sent me. So. Let's just have a tip out and we can see exactly what, she, what it is that Chris has sent. Let's pop that to one side there. Okay, now she said in her letter that she hoped I was doing a yellow theme soon. So I'm presuming that everything that she's popped in here follows, yes it, it does look. So there's lots of lovely gems, beautiful kind of amber and golden yellow rhinestones. There's a couple of um, butterflies. Now I don't know whether these are stickers or not, or whether or not they're actually self-adhesive. That remains to be seen. She's put in a couple of really nice embossed pieces of yellow cut. Beautiful little borders look. So they've been done with an embossing folder, as have these I believe. So these are like yellow pieces or strips of vellum. I'm presuming these have been done with an embossing folder because they are kind of like white on the back, which kind of gives that away, I think. And then there's a beautiful um, piece of lace applique in yellow again, or a creamy sort of color, and some little foam tags. Really cute little foam tags with the holes already pushed in. So thank you, Chris. Unexpected, didn't know that was arriving. Um, and again, some stickers which you could use the, the yellows and the greens too together. So a lovely little piece of Happy Mail from Chris Rice. Thank you very much, Chris. So thank you, Chris, for all that lovely yellow Happy Mail. So I've got to get my thinking cap on now to try and pull as much of that stuff together as I possibly can. So, hmm, something to think about. Okay, so the next piece of Happy Mail that I've got is from a lady called Katie Marriott. So this is the little envelope that was handed to me by Katie. So Katie came to one of my art journaling classes that I hold at the shop and this she just handed me this envelope and said she thought it might be useful for some of my art journal pages. So all I could see was this lovely little hedgehog poking out look. Isn't he sweet? He's beautiful! So I had a quick look inside and what Katie's done is um, this is from an old RSPB calendar. It's the Royal Society for Protection of Birds. And it's an organisation here in the UK that obviously helps to protect endangered species and birds and looks after birds all over the country. So it's a fantastic organisation and they do some brilliant, brilliant calendars. Now this is a calendar from, I don't know whether it's from last year or doesn't actually say the date, does it? Doesn't have a date on it, so it could be from last year could be from the year before, I don't know. But look at these beautiful images. Apart from the big puffin, I love that. That's the one that also has the hedgehog on the back. Just so beautiful. But some beautiful colours and some great imagery from these calendars. Now, I've recently used um, an old calendar in one of my pages. Um, and these images are fantastic. Obviously, rather than throwing the calendar away, you can use those images in your personal art journals. Obviously, if you're not going to sell the images on um, in, in any kind of artwork, if you're doing these just for your own personal use, then that, that's great. So why throw them away when these could be really, really useful for your collages? Now, is that supposed to be that way up? Is that a woodpecker having his lunch? There's some fantastic imagery. Birds in flight. Absolutely stunning. Some beauties. I love the colours. So thank you very much, Katie, for those beautiful images that will definitely get used in some art journal projects coming up. So I hope you've enjoyed those two little bits of happy mail. It's always nice to see what people have sent me through the post. So don't forget, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share the video, 
And also, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking this button just here. That's all from me for now. I'll see you all again real soon. Bye for now.